it's less than 90 degrees. Anytime we're using a protractor and measuring lines less than 90, we're going to use the numbers that are less than 90. If it's an obtuse angle and it's greater than 90, we'll use all the numbers above 90. For example, 110 degrees. At 90 degrees, we should be thinking anything less is acute, greater is obtuse. I've switched protractors to use one that measures to 180 degrees. As you're getting ready to line up a protractor to measure an angle, find the crosshairs or the triangle and set it right in the base of the angle. I've highlighted all the numbers that represent angles between 0 and 90. I've taken a red and blue marker and colored out the numbers so I don't accidentally get the wrong number. As I follow the line up, it some, lands somewhere between 40 and 50 degrees. 45 degrees would be a perfect answer for this angle. It is acute. It's between 40 and 50. It cannot be 55 degrees. I've changed my angle to be something larger than 90, an obtuse angle. Now that I know that I'm measuring angles larger than 90, I'm going to concentrate on the numbers bigger than 90. Once again, I've highlighted all the numbers that this angle could possibly be, and I took the red and blue marker and colored out the numbers that it couldn't be. The numbers I colored out are actually numbers that are less than 90 degrees, from 0 to 80, and including up to 89 and 90 degrees. As I look where my line crosses on the protractor, it's somewhere between 130 and 140. A good guess would be 135 degrees. It is impossible for this angle to be 140 or greater because the line crosses between 130 and 140. This obtuse angle, greater than 90, means we'll be using the numbers between 100 and 180. 135 seems to make sense on this obtuse angle. I'm now going to create a couple of different angles so that you can check yourself on your understanding of measuring with a protractor. My first angle is an angle that would end up right there. How much is that angle? If you guess 35 degrees, you're correct. Now I'll create an obtuse angle. Be careful here, an obtuse angle means it's greater than 90 degrees. We won't use any of the numbers less than 90. If you said 115 degrees, you're correct. If you said 125, that's a common error. Remember that the line falls between 110 and 120.